Hey everyone, welcome to the BookTube Prize channel. My name is Robert, and today we're here for the announcement of the first round results, the octofinals results, and the pairings for the second round, the quarterfinals, which take place in April and May. We started February 1st with 48 books in each division. And then over the course of two months, those books are judged in groups of six by multi-reader panels. We used 11 judges in each group for the first round. Each judge fills out an individual set of rankings from one to six, and then I compile all those at the end of the two months, and the three books out of each group with the best composite rankings advance into the following round. The others are eliminated. So at the end of the first round, we're cutting the field today to 24 books in each field. After round two, we'll cut it to 12 for the semifinals. And then finally, our fourth round, we are doing our finals with six books in each round. After this video premiere ends, if you would like to go to our website, which is just simply booktubeprize.org, you'll find some resources there that you might want to use. The first is a downloadable checklist of the quarterfinals groupings. You'll find that at the bottom of our homepage. It's just a PDF file you can download. Read along with us, check off the books you've already read, however you want to use it, it's just there for your enjoyment. Also, if you'll click on the quarterfinals tab at the top of our web page, you'll see the eight graphics that I'm using in this video for the groupings for the quarterfinals. So if you would like to grab any of those graphics and use them in your own social media posts or your YouTube videos, you're welcome to do so. That's what they're there for. Finally, judges. A few minutes after this video premiere ends, I will release all the ballots for round two into your accounts. If you don't get one, but you signed up as an RSVP to judge this round, it means you're in the standby pool. Every round we have a couple of judges who are unable to do the round for whatever reasons and we need a substitute. I go to the judges who are in that standby pool to find a, a substitute first. So please keep an eye out for your emails. That's how I contact people in order to be subs. So if you're still interested in getting a round, don't give up hope yet. There's still a possibility that you could be used in round two if we need to replace a judge along the way. Okay, that's enough for the administrative business. Let's get to the Octofinals results. We'll begin with nonfiction. In Group A, the six octofinalists were Sandy Hook, An American Tragedy and the Battle for Truth by Elizabeth Williamson, A Heart That Works by Rob Delaney, Come Back in September, A Literary Education on West 67th Street, Manhattan by Daryl Pinckney, Life Between the Tides by Adam Nicholson, the Song of the Cell, An Explanation of Medicine and the New Human by Siddhartha Mukherjee. And Strangers to Ourselves, Unsettled Minds and the Stories that Make Us by Rachel Aviv. And the three books moving into the quarterfinals are... Sandy Hook. The Song of the Cell, and Strangers to Ourselves. In Group B, the six octofinalists were Index, A History of the A Bookish Adventure from Medieval Manuscripts to the Digital Age by Dennis Duncan. Sentient, How Animals Illuminate the Wonder of Our Human Senses by Jackie Higgins. Magnificent Rebels, the First Romantics and the Invention of Self by Andrea Wolf. I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. The Face Maker, A Visionary Surgeon's Battle to Mend the Disfigured Soldiers of World War I by Lindsay Fitzharris. 
and We Don't Know Ourselves, A Personal History of Modern Ireland by Fenton O'Toole. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are I'm Glad My Mom Died, The Face Maker, and We Don't Know Ourselves. In Group C, the six octofinalists were How to Stand Up to a Dictator, The Fight for Our Future by Maria Ressa. Free, A Child and a Country at the End of History by Leah Ippi. Secret City, The Hidden History of Gay Washington by James Kerchick. My Fourth Time, We Drowned, Seeking Refuge on the World's Deadliest Migration Route by Sally Hayden. Body Work, The Radical Power of Personal Narrative by Melissa Phoebos and Translating Myself and Others by Jhumpa Lahiri. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are How to Stand Up to a Dictator, Secret City, and My Fourth Time We Drowned. In Group D, the six octofinalists were the Story of Russia by Orlando Figes. Paradise Falls, The True Story of an Environmental Catastrophe by Keith O'Brien. River of the Gods, Genius, Courage, and Betrayal in the Search for the Source of the Nile by Candace Millard. Lost and Found, a Memoir by Katherine Schultz. Fatty Fatty Boom Boom, a Memoir of Food, Fat, and Family by Rabia Chowdhury, and Half American, the epic story of African Americans fighting World War II at home and abroad by Matthew F. Delmont. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are Paradise Falls, River of the Gods, and Half American. In Group E, the six octofinalists were Eating to Extinction, The World's Rarest Foods and Why We Need to Save Them by Dan Saladino. Did You Hear Mammy Died? A Memoir by Seamus O'Reilly. Super Infinite, The Transformations of John Dunn by Catherine Rundell. Thin Places, A Natural History of Healing and Home by Carrie Nidocrate. And G-Man, J. Edgar Hoover and the Making of the American Century by Beverly Gage. The Trayvon Generation by Elizabeth Alexander. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are Eating to Extinction, Did You Hear Mammy Died, and G-Man. In Group F, the six octofinalists were Constructing a Nervous System, a memoir by Margot Jefferson. Breathless, The Scientific Race to Defeat a Deadly Virus by David Quammen. An Immense World, How Animal Senses Reveal the Hidden Realms Around Us by Ed Yong. Pandora's Jar, Women in the Greek Myths by Natalie Haynes. Under the Skin, The Hidden Toll of Racism on American Lives and on the Health of Our Nation by Linda Villarosa. And Desperate Remedies, Psychiatry's Turbulent Quest to Cure Mental Illness by Andrew Skull. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are... Breathless, An Immense World, and Under the Skin. In Group G, 
The six octo finalists were In Love, A Memoir of Love and Loss by Amy Bloom. Manifesto on Never Giving Up by Bernardine Evaristo. Solito, A Memoir by Javier Zamora. Stay True, A Memoir by Hua Su. Dinners with Ruth, A Memoir on the Power of Friendships by Nina Totenberg. And Buster Keaton, A Filmmaker's Life by James Curtis. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are In Love, Solito, and Dinners with Ruth. And finally, in Group H, the six octofinalists were Also a Poet, Frank O'Hara, My Father, and Me by Ada Calhoun. The Escape Artist, The Man Who Broke Out of Auschwitz to Warn the World by Jonathan Friedland. His name is George Floyd, One Man's Life and the Struggle for Racial Justice by Robert Samuels and Toulouse Olorunipa. Read Dangerously, The Subversive Power of Literature in Troubled Times by Azar Nafisi. Blood and Ruins, The Last Imperial War, 1931-1945 by Richard Overy. And Keats, A Brief Life in Nine Poems and One Epitaph by Lucasta Miller. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are The Escape Artist, his name is George Floyd, and Blood and Ruins. Moving on to fiction. In Group A, the six octofinalists were Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng, The Rabbit Hutch by Tess Gunty, Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver, Memphis by Tara M. Stringfellow, How High We Go in the Dark by Sequoia Nagamatsu, and Liberation Day Stories by George Saunders. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are Our Missing Hearts, Demon Copperhead, and How High We Go in the Dark. In Group B, the six octofinalists were Either Or by Elif Batuman, The Book of Goose by Yian Li, Vagabonds by Elagosa Osunde, Lucy by the Sea by Elizabeth Strout, The Daughter of Dr. Moreau by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, and Take My Hand by Dolan Perkins Valdez. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are The Book of Goose, The Daughter of Dr. Moreau, and Take My Hand. In Group C, the six octofinalists were Young Mungo by Douglas Stewart. Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield. French Braid by Ann Tyler. Trust by Hernan Diaz. Blank Pages and Other Stories by Bernard McLaverty. And Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are Young Mungo, Our Wives Under the Sea, and Trust. In Group D, the six octofinalists were Case Study by Graham McRae Burnett, Companion Piece by Ali Smith, Moon Witch Spider King by Marlon James, 
The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida by Shahan Karuna Talaka. Horse by Geraldine Brooks. And Stories from the Tenants Downstairs by Sadiq Fofana. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida. Horse and Stories from the Tenants Downstairs. In Group E, the six octo finalists were The Candy House by Jennifer Egan, Lessons by Ian McEwen, Love Marriage by Monica Ali, The Marriage Portrait by Maggie O'Farrell, Afterlives by Abdul Razak Gurna. The English Understand Wool by Helen DeWitt. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are The Marriage Portrait, Afterlives, and The English Understand Wool. In Group F, the six octo finalists were the Passenger by Cormac McCarthy. Foster by Claire Keegan. Booth by Karen Joy Fowler. Night Crawling by Layla Motley. Shrines of Gaiety by Kate Atkinson. And Trespasses by Louise Kennedy. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are Foster, Night Crawling, and Trespasses. In Group G, the six octo finalists were Night of the Living Res Stories by Morgan Talti, Kaikei by Vaishnavi Patel, Dr. No by Percival Everett, Calling for a Blanket Dance by Oscar Hokia, The Swimmers by Julie Atsuka, and Fellowship Point by Alice Elliott Dark. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are Kaikei, The Swimmers, and Fellowship Point. In Group H, the six octofinalists were now is Not the Time to Panic by Kevin Wilson. Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Bliss Montage Stories by Ling Ma. Glory by No Violet Bulawayo. All This Could Be Different by Sarah Tonkam Matthews. And Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. The three books moving into the quarterfinals are Now is Not the Time to Panic, Carrie Soto is Back, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Okay, that's it for the octofinals results. Let's take a look at the quarterfinal pairings. We'll start with nonfiction. In Group A, the six quarter finalists are Secret City by James Kerchick, Eating to Extinction by Dan Saladino, Sandy Hook by Elizabeth Williamson, Breathless by David Quammen, The Facemaker by Lindsay Harris, and Solito by Javier Zamora. In Group B, the six quarter finalists are Did You Hear Mammy Died by Seamus O'Reilly, The Song of the Cell by Siddhartha Mukherjee, Under the Skin by Linda Villarosa, 
I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Blood and Ruins by Richard Overy and Half American by Matthew F. Delmont. In Group C, the six quarterfinalists are River of the Gods by Candace Millard, In Love by Amy Bloom, G-Man by Beverly Gage, My Fourth Time We Drowned by Sally Hayden, Strangers to Ourselves by Rachel Aviv, and The Escape Artist by Jonathan Friedland. And in Group D, the six quarter finalists are Dinners with Ruth by Nina Totenberg, An Immense World by Ed Young, His Name is George Floyd by Robert Samuels and Toulouse Olorunapa, We Don't Know Ourselves by Fintan O'Toole, Paradise Falls by Keith O'Brien, and How to Stand Up to a Dictator by Maria Ressa. And moving to the fiction division, in Group A, the six quarterfinalists are Trust by Hernan Diaz, Fellowship Point by Alice Elliott Dark, The Marriage Portrait by Maggie O'Farrell, Night Crawling by Layla Motley, The Book of Goose by Yian Lee, and Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. In Group B, the six quarterfinalists are The English Understand Wool by Helen DeWitt, Take My Hand by Dolan Perkins Valdez, Foster by Claire Keegan, How High We Go in the Dark by Sequoia Nagamatsu, The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida by Shahan Karunatilaka, and Now Is Not the Time to Panic by Kevin Wilson. In Group C, the six quarterfinalists are Young Mungo by Douglas Stewart, Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng, Horse by Geraldine Brooks, The Swimmers by Julie Atsuka, Afterlives by Abdulrazak Gurna, and Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And in Group D, the six quarterfinalists are Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Stories from the Tenants Downstairs by Sadiq Fofana. Kaikei by Vaishnavi Patel. The Daughter of Dr. Moreau by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield. And Trespasses by Louise Kennedy. Okay, so there you have it, the results from the octofinals and the pairings for the quarterfinals. I hope the first round was good for you, and I hope you look forward to reading with us in round two. I'll talk to you again soon, everybody. Bye-bye.